Hello, welcome to Permaculture Now. We're at Indian Lake today at our summer camping teepee. Um, and we are turning our pad into a kind of a homegrown national park style native restoration um, using some permaculture principles as well because we have uh, started with a foundation of fruit trees. So we have a mix of uh, peach and plum and a couple more peaches. And so we have about six fruit trees that we've started to establish some natives underneath. Um, here we have a baptisia and a culver's root and native grass all pretty close together. But as you can see, the ones close together have done well in this kind of gravelly soil. And the things that were farther spaced out, like our echinacea, uh, monarda, these um, have kind of struggled. So we're going to go for a kind of dense planting strategy as we move forward. And uh, this kind of imitates if you look at a lot of these prairie plants and you go to um, vestigial prairies in Ohio here, you see how close the plants are together. Um, now, a lot of permaculture and even restoration at this point in our fractured habitat is experimentation. So we like to kind of experiment with our, doing our plantings. But as long as the trajectory is towards lots of native plants to support biomass and biodiversity, as well as uh, fruit trees and other edible plants that allow us to provide part of our needs, freeing up more land for native restoration, then um, it's okay to, to be experimental and to see what works. Um, our weather patterns are changing. How we have to do things is changing. Our view of the world will necessarily have to change as we move into this new time where we realize uh, that we have to conserve our resources and start to become better stewards of all the life around us. Um, so today we're adding some native iris. We're doing more minarda, more echinacea. Yeah. And mountain mint. So we always get people excited about our TP here. Um, and the goal over time is that we uh, share this teepee and this native plant restoration and these ideas with people. Um, the teepee is kind of a dramatic, dramatic thing that maybe can help us to spread this idea too. Plus it's just our nice uh, camping for the summer. So another fruit tree. We haven't planted densely here because there's so many spring ephemerals that come up. Um, so we're reluctant to do, do a lot in here. We're also seeing what comes up on its own. We have some nice wood asters throughout and other types of asters that are coming up. We are adding some ferns here. Um, here's another peach tree. Now, could say, why aren't we adding big native trees that are keystone species? But the really cool thing about this site is we have all these amazing hickories above us, maples, and huge oak trees. The whole space that we're in is surrounded by huge oak trees. So we have all this overstory and we're taking advantage of this kind of, uh, this kind of sun trap gap to grow some fruit and to add in as many uh, native uh, herbaceous plants that we can to support all kinds of pollinators and life around us. Okay, thank you for watching today. I hope this video is, um, is inspiring or entertaining or educational and we just have to remember that we all have to work together and whatever little bit of land that we get to be stewards over we can make conscious decisions to support the life around us and to provide some things for ourselves and we find that this is such joyful work um, that we'll want to be more engaged with it and we'll want to share it with more people all right have a great day